Okay, so the goal is for me is to make two burgers. Uh, one that is more barbecue based and use the dark uh, frankfurters with bacon. And they both use the same bun, which is 150 grams. And they both have the lettuce and brie cheese. For the second burger, or I, I think it's called a buckwurst, there's this, okay, I'll translate. It's apple, cinnamon, and pine. These are pine seeds. Uh, this jam with brie with this uh, frankfurter, it goes really well together. Trust me, this, or, or basically, uh, brie cheese with anything sweet or anything jam, it just goes well together. Okay, once they're toasted, I don't want any more than that. That is all that you need. So this is why I make them a little bigger than my burgers because when they cook, they tend to uh, shrink in size. And what I'm gonna do is wait until it's cooked until here, for the fish to the top. As you can see, we're close to doing that and I will flip them over once that happens. What I also like to do is reheat this because I like my food hot. Mmm, Okay, so I'm gonna start with one burger. I would like to use one a leaf of these rocket leaves or lettuce. But I, I cut them to pieces. Right, look at that. Beautiful pieces. Now you use this as a base. I use my classic Heinz uh, barbecue sauce so that it doesn't. so that the lettuce are here so that it doesn't go through the bread. I'll just drop this right here. Now, the first burger is gonna use the these some bacon I like to put some on the side also okay some bacon and top with uh, with three cheese maybe two Bang time, palay. All right. Oh, oh yes. So this mm. burger is more on the lines of barbecuey, smoky, lots of that character of typical American, but with a touch of um, these are Oktoberfest frankfurters, uh, brie cheese. So a lot more, a bit of European influence. I'd say French, German, a bit of American, like the barbecue and all. Yeah, definitely sweeter, still smoky, it's got a little bit of smoke flavor. I didn't use barbecue. But the brie cheese just melts over it and a little bit of sweetness from the cinnamon and all that. Mm. <laughs> ah, look at this. Mm. 
So for this bad boy, I'm gonna do the same thing. Start with this base. I don't know, I, I like to put a little bit of effort to make it look nice also. That's just me. I cannot eat it if it doesn't look bad, you know. <laughs> All right. For this time, like I said, what I'll be using is uh, apple, cinnamon, and pine. It's a mixture. Uh, it's like a jam, but uh, not. Not really. Uh, it's, not, it's not as sweet as your typical jams, <clears throat> like raspberries or strawberries. Uh, this is this is more like a cinnabon. If you know what a cinnabon is, it has this base. I think that's aided by the fact that it has cinnamon in it. So I think it's the same thing. I'll lay this one here. For this, like I said, if you use the white, bab, I think it's called bockwurst. Maybe someone who knows can can correct me. And bacon. Top it with cheese. Okay. Alright. Yeah, definitely sweeter. So smoky, it's got a little bit of smoke flavor. I didn't use barbecue, but the brie cheese just melts over it. And a little bit of sweetness from the cinnamon and all that. Mm -hmm. And these frankfurters, the white ones, <clears throat> they have a more of a herbal characteristic. So that with the apples and the jam and the cheese, it just complements each other really well. But just a little bit and I'm finished. I just have a little bit and I'm finished. But so brang busug. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.